Greetings, everyone. And thank you, Dr. Salaria and Sri Pratip Kumar for inviting me to join you virtually in Vice Egg on World Snake Day. India has the dubious reputation of being the snake bite capital of the world with over 50,000 deaths each year, and most of them farmers and their families. The Madras Crocodile Bank, along with our regional partners, is sure that we can reduce snake bite by teaching people the true facts about snakes, which ones are venomous, how to avoid them, and what to do if bitten. The best way to get this information out to villages in India is by showing people the short videos in Telugu that we have produced. Please email us to snakebite at the rate of madrascrocodilebank.org or ask our friend Murthy of the Eastern Ghats Wildlife Society, who is based right there with you. Snakes are an essential and valuable component of our ecology. They are the best rodent controllers in the world. Only a few species of venomous, and all they want to do is to avoid humans. Using a light at night when a lot of bites happen, sleeping on a cot and using a mosquito net are all ways to avoid snake bites. Farmers need to practice snake safe planting and harvesting, watching where they put their hands and feet. There's only one cure for venomous snake bite and that is antivenom. If someone is bitten, do not waste time. Get them to a hospital or clinic with antivenom as soon as possible. Please be prepared. Find out the nearest source of medical treatment with antivenom. Now watch these video clips to show that snakes really don't want to bite you. These clips were shot at over 1,000 frames per second, greatly slowing down the action. First is the Russell's Viper. When someone foolishly walks around without a light at night, he or she may step on the viper. Here you see that the snake is very frightened and only wants to escape. When stepped on, the viper feels in danger of its life. And if it bites and injects venom, the patient must get to a hospital for antivenom without delay. And now we're going to show you the cobra. This is how it uses its sensitive tongue. And this is actually showing the inside view of venom extraction. The venom flows out of its fangs like water from a tap. Then we wanted to see how a cobra strikes and bites. Though the artificial leg was an obvious threat to the snake, time after time, the cobra spread its hood to frighten the intruder, and in every case, the cobra struck with its mouth closed. If actually stepped upon or grabbed, a cobra may bite. But when it strikes from an upright position, it keeps its mouth closed. It just wants to frighten you away. And it works. There's lots more to learn about these fascinating reptiles. And a bit later, Ajay Kartik of the Madras Crocodile Bank is going to show you the big four venomous snakes of India. So happy Snake Day to all of you and keep safe and happy. <laughs>